Now let's look at uh, some uh, specific methodology used in loss forecast. Uh, the first one is row rate based. Okay, in collections module, we talk about the row rates. Uh, on the uh, left hand side, we have a table to give us uh, uh, the average row rate uh, for this portfolio. Let's say in the past six months, uh, you can see that uh, from cycle one to two, it's uh, in the 20s. Uh, as the account moves uh, through the Lincoln cycle, the row rate naturally uh, becomes higher and higher. Uh, in the last stage from cycle six to chart off, that's uh, almost 100%, right? It's 98%. Now let's look at the uh, table on the right. In current months, we know that uh, this is the distribution of a balance in each delinquent bucket, right? So one to six, uh, all the way to chart off. Now you are tasked to forecast the loss in the next six months. In month one, so this is a uh, fairly easy, right? So in month one, only the accounts in today's cycle six accounts will become charged off, right? So you look at cycle six, that's $10,000. You times the roll rate from six to charge off, which is 98%. So that will be your forecasted month one charge off amount. Nice and easy, right? So in month one, similarly, we can also forecast the cycle six balance, uh, which is uh, rolled from uh, cycle five in current months. So the calculation is that uh, you use the $11,000 in cycle five from current months times the 95% roll rate from cycle five to six. Okay, so then you get the cycle six balance uh, in month one. Then you time the row rate uh, from cycle six to charge off. That's 98% again. Then you will get the uh, charge off forecast in month two. Uh, so you can do this for other cycles. Then uh, this way you can easily get the uh, uh, forecast uh, uh, for charge off in the next six months. Uh, this also has a high degree of reliability. Okay, so row rate based is a good for the short term forecast in the next six months.